So Roger has told me that we could be living on the moon in the next 10 years, less than 10 years. But the big question, Roger, is if and when, or we'll say when we get to the moon, who owns the rights? Do we own the moon if we land there? The answer is no. We signed an, the Outer Space Treaty, uh, which is a United Nations treaty signed by most nations on, on Earth. And the answer is you can't own property on the moon. However, if you extract resources from the, that property, if you mine the property and extract ice and, and then use that ice and do whatever with it, you can own the resource that you extract. So if you extract helium-3, if you mine for gold or iron or whatever, you own the product that you mine from that property, but you cannot own the property. And, and it's an interesting set of questions because if you actually establish a mining operation, on the surface of the moon and you limit access to it, you may not officially own it, but you control it. So that is why there's a race to get to the moon right now. Exactly. And who else is in that race? China. China and Russia have partnered to establish a sustained presence on the lunar surface by 2035. We frankly want to establish the norms and behaviors that are expected of responsible nations on the surface of the moon. And for that reason, we want to get there first and establish that kind of sustained presence so that we can establish the norms and behaviors.